Nestled among the skyscrapers of downtown Houston is a beautiful Spanish Renaissance style building that holds one of the largest collections of Texas history in the state. Shaded behind huge oak trees is the Houston Public Library's Julia Idison Building, named for the city's first professional librarian. Housed in this historic building is the Houston Metropolitan Research Center, which is the premier repository of Houston history. Its archives include extensive photographic collections depicting the history of Houston, the African American collection, one of the finest Latin American collections in the nation, valuable rare books, as well as large murals and original oil paintings. People from all over the U.S. come here to tap into this wonderful treasure of Texana. Researchers use the HMRC collections for a variety of reasons, including writing books, or just to get a view of what Houston was like at a particular time. I have to um, think of the Julia Idison building um, first, the way it affected me when I was a child, because it was a very big deal to come downtown to the library. Houston Metropolitan Research Center is a, a deep resource with lots and lots of different kinds of things related to the life and history and culture of Houston. This is the closest thing that this city has uh, as a repository of its culture and history, and, uh, and there's no place like it. The building which houses these collections is itself one of Houston's most significant architectural landmarks. The building which uh, has been preserved, it's a beautiful building that we'll never see the likes of again. One of the marvelous things about this building is that it, it's a sensory overload because you, the first thing you do is you're going to slide your feet under those slick tiles that have been been worn down for decades and decades and then you look around and there's incredibly rich detailing and there's gold leaf where gold leaf ought to be and then there are these chairs we're sitting in which were specified and put into the building in 1926 and they kind of fit and carved wood up above and it's 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 really a feast for the eyes it, it, it's something that you only see in older buildings normally in, in churches. In the 1920s, the Houston City Planning Commission approved plans for a great civic center to include a new city hall, a large city auditorium, and a new building for the Houston Public Library. The building has always just been a, a wonderful thing. In the 1920s, when Houston was very much trying to take its place in the City Beautiful movement and, and have lots and lots of wonderful civic architecture and boulevards and all. Um, this was really the first part of a grand civic center idea. The architects chose a Spanish Renaissance plateresque style intended as a reference to Texas' historic connection to Spain and her colonies. They planned to design the other buildings in the civic center in the same style. The original plan was that the City Hall would be designed in the same architectural style and then across where Tranquility Park is was the, the site for a proposed civic auditorium, really big civic auditorium, all in the same architectural style with the Spanish plaza in the middle of it. The depression sort of took care of all of that and all of those plans were sort of shelved and forgotten about, but the drawings are still there. The Edison building is a jewel and unfortunately a lot of people don't know about it. It's obvious that a lot of love and care has gone into preserving the building and it gives you a glimpse into the past, into the early years of Houston's uh, development. And as far as the collections, they're important, but just to come here and experience it is something that you don't forget. The other thing about this building is that it, it's a reminder that in the 1920s and also a little bit into the early 1930s, the great favorite architectural design style was actually Spanish or co uh, Mexican colonial architecture. There were wonderful buildings uh, uh, throughout the city, commercial buildings and residential buildings and school buildings, uh, all of which were de designed in a sort of Spanish revival style. And uh, we've seen that become relatively uncool over the years and, and uh, it's, it's just not there much and m most of those buildings are gone. During the Great Depression of the 1930s, many artists found work through the Public Works Art Project, producing art for public buildings. Several local artists designed large murals in the Edison Building, and today this is the largest collection of Depression-era art in Houston. The HMRC has several valuable watercolors painted in 1852 by Thomas Flintoff 
These are the earliest known images of public buildings in Houston. This painting features the Harris County Courthouse, built about 1852. The Nichols Rice Cherry House can be seen in the background, in its original location on Congress Avenue. It was later moved to Sam Houston Park, where it stands today. Another painting illustrates the first Houston City Hall. In 1856, photographer R. L. Morris took the earliest known photographs of Houston. A photo of the 400 block of Main Street shows the roof of the Texas Capitol building, by then the Capitol Hotel. Rare photographs taken in the 1860s of the residential areas east of Main Street indicate that most Houston houses before the Civil War were in the Greek Revival style. 